The cryosphere is where many different types of ice on Earth forms. From the simple icicle to rime, ice discs, and even clathrate hydrate, which is gas trapped in ice. If that gas happens to be flammable, you get flaming ice. In 400 BC Iran, ice was harvested from colder areas and stored in the desert. But how do they keep the ice from melting? Well, they built yakals using sand, clay, egg white, lime, ash, and of course, goat hair. If they wanted the yakal to stay even colder, they built it on top of a kanat for better air circulation. Check out my well video to know more about kanats. Many countries traded ice. It was kept year round in ice houses. If you wanted to keep your food cold, the ice man delivers to your ice box. Even though we cannot produce ice, there's still Baltazar Ushka Tenasaka, the last ice merchant that harvests ice in Ecuador's Mount Chimporazo Glacier. Check out the link in the description below. What do we do with all this ice? Food storage is an obvious choice, and ice piers make sense in colder climates. But a more novel use is Picrete frozen water and wood fibers that act like concrete and can be shaped to float. Speaking of concrete, ice is used to properly mix concrete in hot weather. Ice is one of the most abundant compound in the universe. It has many different phases that correspond to the temperature and pressure placed upon it. The triple point is where water is solid, liquid, and vapor at the same time. It's also theorized that if ice is compressed enough, it acquires metallic properties. The explanation is beyond me, but I do know that hydrogen turns into liquid metal with enough pressure. Something else that I can't quite explain is spin ice, which is ice that can act like a magnet. Well, that's it for me, guys, and thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.